welcome to SuccessfulTrading.com. It is a Sunday night, at least here in California, but the futures have been open for about uh, two and a half hours. Uh, so I just wanted to, to make a quick video. Um, before I do that, I mean, I am really excited today. Uh, I had my first and one and one coaching with uh, somebody totally across on the other side of the world in Singapore. It's a, a nice uh, young lady of the name of uh, Carol. So we had a one-on-one -on -one coaching on a meeting that is scheduled on our subscription uh, on our website, SuccessfulTradings.com, using our calendar, uh, uh, as you know. Uh, so it's funny that uh, after she joined our Discord room, it was very late night over there, obviously. The, the delta is uh, 15 hours different. So now I just saw her back while it's only 5 p.m. here in California and she's waking up in, in the Discord room. So that was a great experience being able to interact that way. So if you're watching this video yourself, whatever part of the world we are, you can be part of our Discord room. So this, this evening here, we just want to take a look at some uh, the futures and uh, set up up in terms of uh, what we, we could be looking into going into the next week. So let's let's quickly go ahead on here and look at the futures. Uh, not that there are any indication of what some um, could transpire tomorrow, but uh, here are the futures overall. So the, as of now, I'm looking at the energy. So um, we know we had that massive rally in a lot of energy stock, right? So uh, we're going to go into that a little bit in detail when we go our top-down um, analysis in just a, a, a little bit on here. But yeah, this is gapping up. I believe uh, Saudi Arabia decided to just hike up the price of, 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 of the oil per barrel after the deal with the OPEC plus countries where they decided to extend the cut. So what does that mean? And potentially, it could mean that for us, the, the rally, um, the breakout that we saw in a lot of uh, stocks on uh, all, all, all energy and all particularly stock on on Friday, it's about to, 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 to carry on, right? Let, let's take a look at a few examples on it. Or maybe, actually, let me use the chart on the. Let's look at the future overall for the indices. So if, when we look at the future for indices, here's NASDAQ. NASDAQ is up. Uh, plus 0 0.5 percent it's not again this could completely revert as you know by the time we open uh, tomorrow morning so if you're watching this video whenever you are able to catch this video uh, just be mindful of, of, of that on here for us we are talking about uh, specific uh, events that are happening up uh, uh, as of uh, this time two hours into the, the the future of trading so um what are we looking for into the week? Let's take a look at the performance of the 10 sectors. As, as you know here, I'm using thin ways to, to do that on here. So this is the performance on week, or we can, you can flip it uh, this, this way to see that, hey, the energy sector in average, they, they, they is the one leading into the week. And you know, if you don't know by now, so if I click on here, so this could actually help be as a tutorial, um, these are 332 stock that are part of that sector. And the power of uh, Finwiz at least the elite version that I'm using, if I just go on charts, I can have all of those charts on here, right? Just like that. So, um, and then you can, you can select obviously because 322 stock, but you want to be selective, right? So maybe you want to say, okay, you want the volume uh, for those over 1 million. My list just got reduced by half. Okay, so now for us, we trade options mostly, right? When I do that, there wasn't that much difference at, at uh, either. So now in terms of price, maybe let's be selective and say, okay, we know that some of them were really, really cheap as of last week, right? They've gone a little bit up. So maybe the $5 stuff, of, I don't know, you could be into that. You can be looking into some, some, some uh, nice deal on less than $10 stock, depend on your strategy. So let's say for us, for instance, let, let's start, let's start through, through that. So if you say you want stuff under $10, Okay, you have 82 of them, folks. Okay, so conversely now, <laughs> and then they are, they, they are all in here. They are all in here. You, you can then, we can, we can use uh, further criteria to show you shortly here. So, so conversely, so for us, if we say that's really what we'll be doing. So for us, we want over $15. I'm sure I'm going to be missing some opportunities, but at least 57 that's a little bit more uh, manageable. So then the second criteria that uh, you, we could use on here uh, after, let's say, okay, so optionable, 
Oh, yeah, the price, uh, that, that's, that's where the volume, can we be more selective on the volume? Because I mean, over 1 million. Okay, now we are, we are up to 447. So that's, 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 that's definitely uh, of value under. So what else can we, can we put in here? We, I mean, you can do all type of uh, analyst recommendation here. Are they strong buy? Okay, it's a strong sell, okay. So if you want, you filter through that in that manner as well. So in that case, What's, uh, who do we have here? Strong buy actually is not showing any. any. So in, in this sub list, overall in the bigger list, that's what you show that value under. So earning date, uh, target price of any, uh, let's say, for, yeah. So what if we say here, for instance, five, 10% below price. Okay, these are the stock that uh, are in the energy sector that are optionable that uh, have over 2 million of volume and the current target price consensus analysis we are 10% below that current target price so that can give you opportunity under I can see this guy oxy folks oxy a lot has been going on <laughs> on this it, 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 how much did oxy gain on, on Friday it was just uh, I didn't have it I didn't have it so I traded um I traded Harley Burton, so and uh, Zoom, Exxon, yeah. So th they were my two, my two all thing, and yeah, and no complaint. I mean, Oxy, Oxy did better, but I didn't have it. So uh, this is this is what Oxy did, folks. <laughs> so in one day, thirty-three <laughs> percent. But I mean, you can see why, right? The stock came and uh, has been going sideways for over three months, two months, one and a half months. Let, let's let's be. Um, uh, just over two, two, two and a half months, and uh, where, where is it? I want to draw a rectangle here. This is a box here. That's where we are. We are getting ourselves out of this box. So, yeah, bang! Stock that finished high of the day with big. That's the biggest, the largest green candle that you, you saw on here for a long time. And then now we are into this whole area. So moving to 30 and then there are some rumors about some other company trying to buy it or anything so that make it for an opportunity for a great trading week not just oxy folks there are plenty of other stuff so the the top down analysis that we just did on the energy sector you can perform that with your own criteria to find a tradable uh, item on there so if we go back here you can say because we we got here from by selecting the energy sector right so remember how, how we got in, in here. This is top down analysis that I'm trying to get us into. Actually, you just go group. So that's the beginning of it. Performance. Okay. And in this case, based on last week. So now if we think that healthcare, and that's actually the sleeper before me, um, the, the sleeper on here, 997 of them. So same thing. Wow, we want really volume with healthcare, don't we? So over 2 million. Notice how I just buy, just filtering from volume. Let me do that again. Let me do that again any 979 and then just over 2 million 157 how many of them are optionable 124 price okay i mean again here uh by default i wouldn't even be interested in anything less than 50 50 so over 50 i have my 41 bah. and then i have my chart now i can analyze it that that's I can, I can analyze them so whatever is pleasing to you here you can definitely take care of that. i've heard good things about uh which one uh they are in alphabetical order here so what's what's some uh miss yeah a, 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 a trader mr jack i mean i can divulge that he he, he talked he, he he knows his way around this he's a med student so a very bright guy as you guys knew by the interview so he he he's looking into uh some 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 a couple of them on here i'm not sure if if they are here but you see the like of uh, jnj you see that that's unknown of uh, gil oh there was this rumor about gil being approached by uh, a company in great britain uh but i don't it's not a rumor so right now it's a big buzz on uh, stock tweets also some are expecting that's gonna jump 10 percent tomorrow i do not know i do not know will i trade it 
Uh, I don't most likely I don't most likely not. I don't uh, I don't trade the news. Yeah, I think the company that was approaching it was this one. Yeah, Astra AstraZeneca. Yeah, that, that, that. so AstraZeneca approach Gil. So if you are into trading uh, rumors or oh, this could happen or that could happen, well go for it. I do not have an appetite for that. You guys know that. So <laughs> as, as, as strictly stay uh, stay away from those those, those type of uh, um, just emotionally you get yourself involved into something and, and just, no so no 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 not for me i don't have an appetite for it but i know that this sector it will be buzzing in the, in the next week that's why i'm bringing it up for for you on here so if we go back again i mean the story that i have to do this again so i just do performance uh based on this particular week so the financial i mean the financial folks uh, pick 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 which one right so uh, we have 3,000 whatever optionable, the number divided by two-thirds, <laughs> if you see that. And then when we ask for volume, volume over 2 million, 288. And uh, you can use things like relative volume as well. So uh, over 2, for instance, here you go, path, just like that. So, and then you got your chart. So, yep. This guy, for instance, oh my God, look at that one. So something has to happen then. So some of these stocks in these sectors, uh, financial, energy, um, airlines, which will be on those services, I believe. Um, oh no, it, it could, they, 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 could, they could be in a different sector. Let me not say something uh, that doesn't stand. stand, stand. So, um, so the airlines, they could be, uh, let's say in this case here, the airlines may be most likely, I'm not sure, I'm not sure, folks. So uh, definitely not basic material. Con consumer, basically call, or I was expecting them to be to have a, a service on here. But in any case, you can find the airlines. I mean, you saw which what they did. We know the major one, right? So AAA, for instance. Um, hey, did you guys trade puts on 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 Friday? Did anybody trade put? Because everybody was excited. It was up over thirty percent uh, in pre market. But I mean, this was a great trade for puts, folks, on Friday. They trade. I didn't have it, but I'm just I'm just asking because we feel as if the market can only go up. You can make money in both directions, folks. So imagine you had the calls going into Fridays, like AKA some of the lotos that we, we we enjoy, and then this. So no, this is no man's land out here. So some that something will has to has to go away. They almost fill up the gap, right? Not almost the gap is filled. The gap is properly filled. Okay. So can they start somewhere at 20 above 20? There's no resistance whatsoever until 26. Could, they, could that be filled in just one week? Absolutely. For God's sake, look what they did on here. In one week, <laughs> actually, let's go to the weekly chart and we close on that. <laughs> in one week, we went from 1079, my friend, to $22. That's over 100% gain in one week. On a, on, a, on, a, on, a, on a $12 stock, on a $11 stock. So yeah, volatility is here. Uh, so that's make it for great trading opportunity. I've already said that. I hope uh, you find some, you found some value into this content. Please subscribe. Thank you for all of those who are subscribing. Our subscribe, subscriber base is growing uh, at the pace of a snail, but that's okay. It's better than what we had three months ago. You, you guys know that. When we were just celebrating, oh, first 100 subscriber, yay, 200 subscriber. Now we are above, well, how many are, are we showing on there? Oh, 256, fantastic. So you, you see, you just saw it live on here. So we're wishing you a great trading week wherever you are. And uh, we catch you tomorrow on our daily market recap. Enjoy this evening um, uh, market uh, forecast or whatever you want to call it. And uh, we will catch you next time. Until then, have a great day. Have a great evening wherever you're watching from in the world. We appreciate you and talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Hello.